Hey there. Hi, this is Melissa with Burlap Boutique, and I'm going to put together a uh, one of our wreath kits to show you the way that I do it, and this is easy and simple. I call a basic, um, uh, basic way to do it, I guess. Um, so anyway, but um, so here is our sign. This is a kit that we do have listed in our shop at BurlapBoutique.com. I love this. This is a very, very popular sign. I sell tons of them. The sign by itself and the kits are very popular as well. So we're going to move the sign over. And your kit should come with a wreath frame, which we have here that's already got the ties on it. The, this is the ribbon bundle that comes with this particular one. Okay, and these are already pre-cut for you. And then you should have two mesh bundles, and this is just one of each, but um, they may or may not be exactly like this. Um, sometimes we have to substitute depending on availability, but um, let's go ahead and get this one started. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my ties. Okay. And I apologize in advance if my dogs start barking. I'm trying to get through this real quick before my husband gets home because when they hear him, they go crazy. Okay. Alrighty. So let's put these over here and let's start with our mesh. And I'm, we're just going to make ruffles. Your mesh wants to naturally curl, so we're going to place it down. And we're just going to gather up the center when we get to the end. And if you're more comfortable putting something heavy on the end of this, you're more than welcome to do so. So you come out with something that looks like this, a bow tie. So we're going to take this. and put it down in our first, we're working on the outside, in our first twist eye, and give it a give it a twirl. Now, we're going to skip the next one, and that will be our other mesh um, that we're going to put in it. Some kits uh, may have two different types of mesh, some may, some may have up to four, and I just always alternate, that's the way I like it. So uh, this one we'll wait. We're going to skip one, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to put, let me move this out of the way. I thought I had plenty of space here. Okay, we're going to go ahead, and we're just going to ruffle up the front. We'll just walk the best you can through the middle. Get your ruffle. Okay, skipping one, and we're going to come to the next one. And we're going to give it a, give it one twirl. Okay, now we'll go ahead and put one of these in. We're doing the same thing. We're just making that ruffle. Okay, this is our, what I call the accent piece. Okay, and we're going to come back and just put it in Let me get a little closer here like so I'm sorry guys it's been a while since I've done a video and I'm getting out of the picture here okay now we can bump these up next to each other so that they're kissing, okay? And then we'll go on with the next one. Move this over some. Okay, and we're just gonna ruffle up the center again.
give it a twist. All right. Now we'll do that all the way around on the outside and we'll also fill it in on the inside. Let's see, next. Let's do it again. Let me get under here where you can see me a little better. Okay. Skip one. Give it a twist. We're going to come back and put our ribbon in there as well. So we don't want to twist it too many times because it tends to build it up. Alright. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and keep going with our cream color here. Try to kind of turn it under a little bit if it'll let me. Well, you make it do what you want it to do. <laughs> okay. Give myself a little more space here. That's it for the cream on the outside. Okay. Now we'll go back and fill in with the rest of our uh, tan here, or natural. Making wreaths can be very addicting. But the great thing about getting a kit is you don't have that all that extra left over. And everything's already matched up for you too. Sometimes that can be that can be a chore. Trying to pick out ribbon and mesh and signs. Okay, here's the last one. And there's no right or wrong way to make a wreath. It's just what you like. Okay. Now we can bump them all up. So that they're not peeking behind each other. Alrighty. Okay. Now we've got our outside done. So this is what we've done so far. Alright, now we're going to come back to the center. Oh, or did I? No, I didn't miss one. Okay. All right, let's start with our center. Mm 
and it doesn't matter. Just pick a spot. Get your ripple in there. Tie it down. Okay, I'm going to skip one. Go on to the next. one tan left. And skip one and we'll be right here. Okay. three more pieces and we'll have all of our mesh in then we can start on our ribbon tails short one or did I drop one? Okay. I'm probably going to have to cut one more. I think I miscounted. Oh no I didn't. There it is. I see it. Okay. piece of mesh. Okay, here's our our wreath base. Oh, I can't. I've got to get a better camera angle. All right, let me just do it this way. There we go. Nice and full. Okay. All right, now I am going to pair up my ribbon tails. I think I'm going to put the the pink and the dot together. And then I'm going to put my tan and green together. And of course you can you can do it however you like. Okay? So, the best way to do this Uh-oh. Lay your ribbons on top of each other. Fold them in the middle. gather them. Then I like to go ahead and they're all wired so you can make them do whatever you want. Whoops. Come over here. There we go. And go ahead and insert into and go ahead and turn that a couple of times. And then just spread your ribbons apart. And you could not see what I just did. Alright, let's try it again. My screen is not big enough. 
Okay, let's get larger. I'm going to have to move my camera back, I can tell. Okay, now let's try it again. Okay, we'll put our ribbon tails on top of each other. Fold them in half. I like to hold it in crease. You can set it on the mat and do it that way if you'd like. Find your ribbon tail, I mean find your twist tie. Tie it up a couple times and then just spread your ribbon tails out. Like so. Alright, and we're going to do that all the way around. Oh, I, excuse me. My stomach is growling. If you hear it. Okay. We're going to fold our ribbons in half. Let me show you how to do it this way. There you go. them a couple of twists and the twist ties you can actually cut off as you go around and if I, I don't know what I did with my cutters <clears throat> just snip them off with some snips As soon as I find mine, I'll show you how to do that. I had them out for something else, and I don't think I put, put them back. Alright, and we'll do that all the way around, top and bottom. Well, I'm aggravated because I don't see my snips. I'd like to snip them as I go. And you certainly can go ahead and fold these up in advance. And that'll save time when you're putting it together. It's hard to see, and I apologize apologize for that. It's hard for me to do it backwards, and that's what I need to do so you can see it. We're going to have to test out some different camera angles here.
Somebody in our neighborhood is getting new flooring or new carpet or something. They've been out there for two days with saws. And these houses out here are only five years old. I can't imagine anybody needing new flooring yet, but maybe it's a want. See one more, and we should have our bottom row complete. Okay. All right, now we've got our outer layer complete. Let's go ahead and get our top started. Okay, I'm not missing. Just setting it down in there. Give it a couple twists and spread them apart. Okay. This one's going to go in our natural. And you can actually either bend these chenille stems down or you can snip them off either way. I usually snip mine off. the aqua ribbon. So I may have to go grab one. I don't. Yeah, let me go grab one. I'll be right back.
All right, so let's get our last one in here. It's going to go right here. All right. I'm just pushing it down in there, giving it a couple twists, and spreading them apart. All right. Now, let me see if I can put my hands on my snips or wire cutters really quick. And I'll show you how to snip those off real quick. Let's see. I don't know where they are. Hmm. I actually have two pair and don't see either one. Let me see if I've got them in this rounder. No, I do not see them. Well, I apologize that I don't have those handy. But all you do is just snip the ends, leave a little bit, and then just push them under. Well, let's put our sign on. Whoops, I got it upside down. Here we go. This is a 10 inch sign, and I like to uh, do mine top and bottom. You can certainly do all four if you like. This is the best tool. You can use a jewelry hole punch to punch holes in your signs, but I find that those tend to come unscrewed and fall apart too much. So, all right, let me grab, I apologize, I am not prepared enough. I thought I had everything I need. But I did not. All right, now. You can use, um, of course, jewelry, jewelry wire if you prefer, but I just like to use Chanel stems. I have lots and lots of those. I just run it through, turn it over. Now, I like to attach my signs to the crossbar. So if you look on the back, you've got these metal pieces. I find one of those, and I usually do the bottom first and just run it through. Another reason I like to use a Chanel stem rather than the wire is because it's just easier to hold on to for me. All right, and you want the sign to just sit on top of your wreath. You don't want it to sink down in there. So I usually just turn it a time or two till I get the top in. And then I decide um, if I've got it tight enough or not. Hey, I'm recording a video. Okay. Um, that shirt's right there on that chair. Did you need me for anything else, honey? No, that's it. Is that it? Okay. Thank you. You get everything moved in? Just green yep, shirt. just that green shirt. That's for Bethany's mom in law. Okay. Yeah, I did. did I got you? everything in pack, basically. So, Good. maybe I'll send you a picture later. Okay. Like. Yeah, send me a picture. Let me see. Bye. Bye. Thank you. 
Okay. So I like that. I'm going to tighten the bottom one up a little bit more. And then, of course, you need to snip those off or fold them up underneath really well. You don't want them to scratch your door. All right, that turned out really nice. And I'm really upset that my camera angle, I've got to, let's just lay it down. Here we go. I got that in the center. Looks like I do. I'll post a picture of it. That way you can see the finished product. Yes, that did turn out really nice. I like that. It's very pretty. Very pretty. Let's see if I back up. Can will that work? No. Yeah, I've got to get my camera angle better. Let me see if I can move it up just a little bit. Help. There we go. Now you can see all my mess behind me, too. Okay. And it's too dark in here. But, there you see our wreath. Yep, I'm going to get a better cam camera angle, and I'll put another one together quick, really soon. But yeah, I will post a picture of that. And, you know, it doesn't look bad with my Chanel stems sticking out there. So you, you don't have to cut them. Oh, my lighting is terrible. Okay, maybe this will at least give you a good start. And um, like I said, I'll get a better one. I'll put a better one out there. All right, guys, thank you. More wreath kits to come.